Are you okay? I can't hold on. I'm doomed. What are you holding on to? A barnacle. I'm touching a creature. I've even made a barnacle disc. <laughs> Oh, hey, no fair. I have to start as a barnacle larva? Whoa. Oh, hey, how do I hang on? Oh. <laughs> barnacle head glue, of course. <laughs> glue that oozes from your head. Now that is a solid hold on these rocks. That is cool. You barnacles don't get enough credit. Now, activate plate-making gland. Oh, yeah! With these hard calcium plates, I'll be protected from waves and predators. Martin, you good? Oh, yeah! Now this is intertidal living. Okay, so Martin's latched on over there, but I can't locate Chris yet. Wait, I'm getting a signal. He's over there, farther out. Come on, Nolan, let's go check. Creatures, here we come! I just wanted to say that. Oh, those waves were rough. I think I'm a little seasick. Ah, I lost my shell, my protection. I can't last out here without a shell. The fish, the seagulls. Ah, seagull! But I gotta make a change. Shell, shell, shell. <gasps> there. Oh, wait. Your limpets. Limpets? Check your discs. Yes, you made one. Oh, well, that's a relief. Activate limpet power. <laughs> that's more like it. Definitely a more stable upgrade. But what are you? What's a limpet? Snail family, right, bud? We eat algae off the rocks. See them scrape it up with that rough tongue-like thing? Plenty of algae here in the inner tidal, because there's plenty of sun for it to grow. So limpets and other creatures are the grazers down here. And check out this foot. It's one giant muscle that suctions onto the rock super strongly. So waves are not a problem. I can hang on tight and be mobile when I want to. And the shell protects you from the waves and predators, right? You got it. And by my calculations, if I keep moving at limpet speed, I'll arrive at the finish line in perfect timing. Oh, yeah. Limpets are going to power me to a win. Eventually. Hey, Barneys, here comes some more. Catch the plankton if you can. Hey, oh, gotcha! A little zooplankton. Wow, these feathery legs are great for snagging the plankton that gets washed in by the tides. Hey, what'd you get? Ooh, an amphipod. <laughs> nice catch. Now this is what I call free at-home delivery. <laughs> Another great reason to live in the intertidal. That is, if you can handle the waves and... Hey, where's everybody going? Ah, the tide, it's going out. And the sun, it's hot. And I'm a water animal. Oh, it'll dry me up and... Water, water, don't leave me now. So this morning, the water was way up here at high tide. Yeah, and now the tide is going out. It'll keep lowering until it's down pretty close to the finish line mark. So the intertidal creatures are underwater part of the time and out of the water other parts of the time. Yup, I don't know how they do it. How's Martin holding up? Not good. <sighs> I'm drying up out here. Gotta conserve moisture. Wow, barnacles even have a trap door that they can close to keep the water in. Yep, see you when the tide comes back up. Come on, starfish. I'm a tasty barnacle. A starfish favorite. Ha <laughs> ha, yum. Oh, yeah. Aviva finished the starfish power disc just in time. That's right. Come on, buddy. 
Activate starfish power. Whoa! Yes, I'm mobile. Finish line, here I come. Don't worry, buddy. If I ever get out of here, I'll cut you loose before I go. But if I don't find a way out of here soon, Martin's gonna win this challenge. Ah, uh, I need a little luck here. <gasps> yes, something coming my way. Oh no, it's Martin. Hey, Chris, see you at the finish line. Hey, a lobster. Come over here, buddy. Ah, uh, yes, the final stretch to the finish line, and it looks like everyone's come out to cheer me on. Hey, sea urchins, anemones, how you doing? Limpets, thank you. Thanks, mussels. Oh, hey, and another starfish. Great to be you, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Starfish smell receptors are smelling something dangerous. Something fishy is going on. Something starfishy, that is. <gasps> now I recognize you. Y you're a sun star. A starfish eating starfish. Gotta go full speed. Oh no, he's gaining on me. If I can just make it to the finish line. Oh. I'm not giving up. I'll lose a limb before I lose this race. That's it. Starfish can detach arms if they're in danger. And then the arm will grow back later. Detach! 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 Whoa! <laughs> I'm free. Good thing that's a spare arm. Colleen Crab Brothers, it's now officially high tide. First one to the finish line is going to win the star of the intertidal trophy. Ha <laughs> ha, easy. Oh, yeah. I'm even going to win this with one less starfish arm. Speeding to the finish with lobster power! Go, go, go! Hurry faster! Forget the race between the tortoise and the hare. What about the sea star and the lobster? It's going to be close. Sorry, bro. I've got lobster tail flick power. Sorry, back. <laughs> I've got starfish suction arms. Oh. Whoa. Ah, I oh. can't see. Oh. Ah. Whoa. I can't Whoa. see. Ow. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. I won. No, I won. No way. You haven't even finished crossing the line. You left an arm back there. So I beat you by a sucker foot. Oh no, not again. 